my dear students now i'm going to take up the question and answer session of gopal and the hilsa fish now we have the questions and answers here and the first question is why did the king want no more talk about the hilsa fish and the answer to this question is the king wanted no more talk about the hilsa fish because his courtiers were in the palace and it was not good to talk about fish in the royal court the second question what did the king ask gopal to do to prove that he was clever the king asked gopal to buy a huge hilsa fish and bring it to the court without anyone asking him a word about it to prove that he was clever now the third question what three things did gopal do before he went to buy his hilsa fish and the answer is gopal had his face half shaven he coated his body with ash and wore rags these were the three things he did before he went to buy his hilsa fish number 4 how did gopal get inside the palace to see the king after he had bought the fish and the answer is when gopal was not allowed to get into the palace he started dancing and singing loudly at the gate when the king heard him he called him inside the palace now question number 4 explain why no one seemed to be interested in talking about the hilsa fish which gopal had bought and the answer is everybody was surprised to see gopal with his half shaven face ash smeared all over his body and his torn clothes as he looked so funny that no one seemed to be interested in talking about hilsa fish the sixth question now write true or false against each of the following sentences the first one is the king lost his temper easily this is true The second one is Gopal was a madman. This is false. Number three, Gopal was a clever man. This is true. Gopal was too poor to afford decent clothes. That is false. The king got angry when he was shown to be wrong. False. So we move on further and working with language. Now the first one is change the following sentences in the story to report the speech. Now the first one is how much did you pay for that hilsa? The woman asked the man how much he had paid for that hilsa. Number 2 why is your face half shaven? Gopal's wife asked him why his face was half shaven. Number 3 I accept the challenge your majesty Gopal told the king that he accepted the challenge Number 4 I want to see the king Gopal told the guards that he wanted to see the king Number 5 Bring the man to me at once The king ordered the guard to bring the man to him at once So this is the end of number 1 and the questions have been answered Now number 2 Find out the meaning of the following words by looking them up in the dictionary then use them in sentences of your own challenge the first one is challenge it means a call to do something difficult the sentence is she accepted the challenge to win the match the second one is mystic mystic means a person who is closely related to god some people say that swami paramhans was a mystic number 3 comical comical means funny he looks comical in that dress next courtier courtier is the one who attends a royal court the sentence is courtier stood up when the king arrived and the next one is that is the last one smearing smearing means coating coating means covering the body with something gopal was smearing his body with ash now we have picture reading and number 2 
that is now given here. Now ask your partner questions about each picture. Where is this tag? The answer is, this tag is by the side of a pond. Next one is, what is he doing? The answer is, he is looking at the pond water. Next is, does he like his antlers? Antlers means horns. Answer, yes, he likes his horns. Next, does he like his legs? Answer, no, he does not like his legs. Next, why is this tag running? The answer is, the stag is running because hunters are after him. Next is, is he able to hide in the bushes? The answer is no, he is not able to hide in the bushes. Next is, where are the hunters now? The answer is, the hunters are close to the bushes now. Next is, are they closing in on the stag? The answer is, yes, they are closing in on the stag. Now the next question is, is the stag free? The answer is, yes, the stag is free. Next question is, what does the stag say about his horns and his legs? The answer is, the stag says that is proud of his horns, but they could have caused his death. He says that he was ashamed of his legs, but they saved him. Now number three. Number three is, now write the story in your own words. Give it a title. Now, the stag and the hunters, that is the title I have given to the story. And the story is, once there was a stag. One day he was standing by the side of pond. When he looked at his reflection in the pond, he felt proud of the beauty of his horns, but did not like his egg legs. He felt they were too thin and ugly. Just then he saw hunters coming. He ran for his life. He tried to hide somewhere. He was caught in the branches of a tree because of his horns. When he saw the hunters coming closer, he jumped out and ran fast and saved himself. He thought he had felt proud of his horns and did not like his legs, but his legs only had saved him. So this is the end of the question answer session and I hope students you understood and liked the text that was in very simple English. So goodbye until we meet again in the next session. Thank you.